Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. How are you doing? Hi, YouTube. I don't know if this, the song played. Hi, Steven. Um, I don't know if the song played, but uh, I think it's getting stuck. Maybe you have to put up a new video. How is everyone doing today? <sighs> We're going to take it nice and easy today. I don't think I've done Dashikids and Bonnets for a little over a week now, right? Mercury Retrograde has not been my friend. And oh, oh, wrong deck. Sometimes when something's not your friend, you just stay away. You gotta know who likes you and who don't like you. And Mercury retrograde and the eclipse did not like you. So we're not trying to pretend over here. What's in the cards for us today? Let's take a look. Retrograde been kicking my ass. I know. You got, listen, Mercury Retrograde don't like nobody, first of all. I don't have anything for my hair. How do I live this way? Y'all know every time I turn around, I don't have anything for my hair. Oh, I feel like getting up, so we just do it this way. Ugh. There you go. Oh, child. Okay. Mercury retrograde has not been pretty. Hi, AB. Hi, Joyce. They, they, this is not nice, Mercury retrograde. Child. So I said, let me lay low. Let me do me. It's almost over. Almost. June 3rd is when it's over. shadow period that I never talk about. And sometimes an event will come through after Mer Mercury retrograde has ended. After it has ended, a few days afterwards, up to a week, if something was brewing, if something was brewing already, it will show up explosive after Mercury retrograde ends. So, be safe out there, everyone. Don't argue with your mates. Don't do it. It's a lose-lose. Or it's a win-win, <clears throat> depending upon how you look at it. Because Mercury retrograde is meant to break us up. Uh -uh. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. I know. Mercury retrograde is meant to break us up. When was the last time? Where's my phone? When was the last time Mercury was in retrograde? Because I had a real problem. Let me see. Mercury retrograde. Twenty twenty one. Wait, 
Yeah, 2021. <clears throat> oh, the last time it was in September. Oh, then I just missed it. I missed it. The last one was in September, so November would have been too close. It usually hits three or four times a year. All right. I think, no, I don't know if Mercury retrograde was in my born under, I don't know. Mercury retrograde is about reflection. It is. Joseph, thank you. Thank you for your insight. It is about reflection. And it's also about shadow work. There's some ugly that needs to be addressed and has to be identified and has to be revisited, right? And you have to deal with it. Now, I'm gonna make some Mercury retrograde candles for the next event, for the next event. They're gonna be white candles, Mercury retrograde, okay? With some oils and herbs to help you all survive the Mercury retrograde for the future, okay? Oh, Kara, does it always get you at the end of the shadow period? Hi, Melissa. How are you? Does it always get you at the end of the shadow period? If you know, you know. That's why I'm like, I'm not doing the eclipse. Had me down, down to the ground. Then I saw some issues in Mercury retrograde, and I was like, Then, now that Mercury retrograde is almost over, now I'm under the weather. But I think it's a plan by God. I think God is like, put her under. Because you know that mouth of hers. Get her nice and fluish. Now I'm all fluish and I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh -uh. And let me tell you something. I have been nursing myself and nursing myself with, oh, with all the good herbs. I've been, I've been added some herbs. Yeah. I just took, spoke to High Priest. What do you call that? High Priestess Aoife Shea. And I was at an agricultural fair. It's a big thing out here. It's their 50th year. Um, and found these old ladies, excuse me, I don't mean to call you old ladies. I don't mean it. These very mature ladies with, uh, metal. And I was like this, metal, metal. They're like, how can I help you? Can I please have some metal? I took that metal, added it to my soup for the feeling under the weather added it to my tea mm -mm. Yeah, and then i called ifa shea and i was like you always be telling us about nettle i never got it i found it over the weekend i made sure and i put it in everything and she said nettle is so good because it has vitamin c vitamin k vitamin d which is all the things that i talk about when i say get the vitamin k vitamin d3 doesn't really matter this is the time to just chill out. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Joseph. I love it when my men show up. I love it when my men show up. The, the metaphysical men, y'all got to follow metaphysical men because they are on it. They're not trying to have no slave shit anymore. They are on it. Y'all got to learn to follow the men without flirting with their asses, you bunch of hoes. You bunch of hoes, follow the men without flirting. The men got things to do too, okay? Learn to follow metaphysical men without all the breasts and boobs coming out. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. I'm serious, pretty. I'm hella serious. <laughs> I'm 
hella serious. <laughs> oh my God. What is what I love about this group? We can all laugh. Thank you. Thank you for laughing. Sweet snows. Y'all know. Y'all know I ain't lying on y'all. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so glad to be back. Hi, Amber Quipped. How are you? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Let me go get a cough drop. That just helps soothe the throat while I'm talking. Hold on. By the way, guys, I've been working on my inflammation inside my body. I actually can walk better because I've been working on the inflammation inside my body. Yeah. All with herbs, guys. You can solve anything with herbs. I promise you. I promise you. Talk to High Priestess Aoife Shea. She'll tell you. You can solve anything with herbs. It's a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys got it. Dora used to eat cough drops like it was candy. Melissa, so do I. So do I. Can I tell you something? Okay, you gotta hear this story. Okay, you know I always got a story for you, right? So I didn't know I was allergic to sugar-free cough drops. So I would buy cough drops sugar-free. I didn't know I was allergic to it. It gives me diarrhea and it gives me huge farts. I mean, loud farts. I mean, you could hear it coming out the anal gland. You could hear it rumbling. You could hear it. And then what lets out is This is a true story. This is a true story. So I, was I going back on the plane? I think I was coming. I was here this time last year in June. I was going back. I stayed here 30 days. I was going back. No, no, no. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm on a plane somewhere. Maybe it was Italy. I'm, I don't know that I'm allergic. I know, I think it was Italy. I don't know that I'm allergic. So I'm eating these cough drops because I'm under the weather. I don't know that I'm allergic. I'm eating these cough drops. I'm like this. I'm like this on a plane. Like this, because I'm under the weather. We hadn't yet hit COVID yet. So I'm like this, under the weather. And I'm passing out. And <laughs> it's a true story, all in basketball. I'm so passed out, which is, I think I got COVID in Italy, but that's neither here nor there. I'm like out taking these sugar-free cough drops. I don't know that I'm allergic to it. And all you hear the whole time, while I'm sleeping, I could hear myself farting. <laughs> Hilarious. I don't even know if I smelled. I'm thinking I must have. And I kept looking at the guy, because there was a seat between us, thank God. But I kept looking at the guy and I kept going, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I wake back up because the thought would wake me up. I wake back up and I go, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
I just came from LA, sweetie. I just relocated here from LA. This is a true story. Have you ever had diarrhea and had to use the plane and you got diarrhea? Anybody? I did. Because the sugar free gives me diarrhea. It breaks up something in my body. I don't know if I, there's a component in sugar free something. That component I'm allergic to badly. I got diarrhea. I got the fox. I'm pretty sure I smelled like the Linus character. I'm pretty sure. It was embarrassing. So imagine, was it like a 10 hour ride between Italy and the United States? Oh no. No, it was, we had a layover. So it must have been from Germany to the United States. Can you imagine? Could you imagine me as a passenger? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't even stay awake. If <clears throat> that that was just before COVID, if it was COVID, they probably would have threw me off the plane. It's a true story. I never tell a lie, not even on myself. It's a true story. Sometimes I don't share it because it's embarrassing, right? But it's two years later. It's post COVID. I can tell you the story now. I fought it for like 10 hours. It's the sugar alcohols they use in sugar-free products. Thank you. Hmm. Yep. And one day I forgot. Just before I came here, I forgot. Like you remember, but then you forgot. Forget. And I went to pick up sugar-free something. Halls. Halls has halls. <clears throat> Sorry, Halls, I got to call you out. But it's not just Halls, it's anything. The Halls regular, I can take. The Halls sugar-free, I can't take. One day I forgot, took the Halls. All the Halls did was clean out my system. That's all it did. The allergy, and that was before I moved here. And that was God saying, remember, you cannot take Halls when you get to the Caribbean. Because if I wind up in a 15 passenger van stinking, these people will remember you. The Caribbean people, they will remember you. They remember whores and stinkies. Mm -hmm. So God was just warning me. He was like, one more time, because you forget things. Yep. Yep. <laughs> now, I will fight in front of Ezra and then blame him. I love that. I will fight and I'll be like, how dare you? How He's like, I didn't do it. You did it, Ezra. How dare you? <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> no, I well, maybe that's why I like it so much. Sin W goes, Tracy, you, 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 you ever notice sugary, sugar-free products are extremely sugary? No, I never noticed that. No, no, sweetie. If you need a good cleaning out, you may not have my allergy. If you need a good cleaning out, do it well. And I'll tell you what, what will clean you out. Do you want to know what will clean you out? Um... Sea moss. Sea moss takes your gut and goes through your intestines and pulls out things that have been sitting there forever. Learn to take sea moss. All right. I would say talk to beautiful conundrum, not collard greens. No, that's not true, CJ. If it's collard greens, then there, if you if you're saying it's collard greens, then you're allergic to the chemicals that they put in collard greens in your area. Wherever they're getting the collard greens from, you're allergic to the chemicals because collard greens is a plant that's not supposed to give you diarrhea unless 
they're using chemicals to preserve the greens. Sea moss will clean you out nicely. You get boo-boos this big. You're going to get a boo-boo that you didn't know could live up inside of there because it's pulling everything out from the small intestines to the large intestines. It's just getting the lining of the intestines. Ooh, sea moss is a beautiful thing. Get your sea mosses, everybody. Yes, get your sea moss. I would say talk to Beautiful Conundrum on IG. Beautiful <clears throat> Conundrum. All right. I think that's how you spell it. But I would also speak to <clears throat> High Priestess. Hi, priestess. Oh, no, no, no. Hi, priestess. I don't need to spell it that right. I would talk to Ori Naturals dot com to see what herbs can be used to better take care of you. That's what I would do. That's a priestess Ifa Sheye. You must learn to do things well. I'm taking it now. How long does it take to work? What? Seamoss? Uh uh. Seamoss works like the very next day. And if you take it regularly, I don't know if you mean Seamoss at, at uh, Fempo. Sea moss works the very next day, but don't worry about it. Yes, sea moss. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. But when I take sea moss, I take it every morning. Talk to Ori Naturals, sweetie. I don't know. Ori Naturals. I could ask her myself. Um, dot com. ADHD might have a lot to do with the foods that you're eating. <clears throat> oh, you're not having that experience? Maybe you're cleaned out, sweetie. Maybe your, your intestines are nice and healthy and clean. Good for you. But I would still take it every morning. Hi, Sine. No, you you buy the sea moss and you just put it in your smoothie tea. I put it in my coffee every morning. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Let me just drink some water, and drink a lot of water, by the way. My throat must be on fire because water just really is cooling my throat down. Hi, Adore. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Shana again. Um, all right. Are we good? For ADHD, it has something to do with the foods that we are eating. So if it's your child, you have to look at the foods that you're giving your child. I believe. I think a lot of the foods that we're eating gives us these conditions. <clears throat> I know with my son, morning cereal with sugar in it was revving that poor kid up. It was so sad to watch. It was the weirdest thing to watch. I'd give him a bowl of cereal and he would just start flipping. And he would be so wired. And it was morning cereal. So I had to start giving him sugarless cereal. 
even more if he's a picky eater. He might be a picky eater because he knows he's not being fed well. So trust him. But I'm going to tell you something. Even a picky eater will eat. You just, you have to change the foods. McDonald's is not your friend. McDonald's, nothing is your friend. Nothing McDonald's offers is your friend. Nothing. I don't know, Lottie. Oh, Sophia, you make your own seam I love, I love that. But contact orinaturals.com, orinaturals.com. Same thing here, I have to watch. Just change it to non-sugar. Also, change his, um, make sure he's not drinking, I said he, but I don't know, probably a boy. Most boys have AD, ADHD issue. Make sure he's not um, drinking cow's milk. I believe that the red dye, yeah. Make sure he's not drinking cow's milk. So find an alternative to the milk that you give him. Do you understand? Um, start looking at what processed foods you're giving him, though. Right? Um, Lunchables are not your friend, people. Lunchables, not your friend. Yep, he drinks almond milk. Good girl. Any of the alternatives, soy, almond, coconut. Oh, by the way, try giving coconut milk with some um, cocoa powder. Tastes just like chocolate milk. So good. Hi, Moon Goddess. Moon Goddess is a graduate. Congratulations, sweetie. Oh, I, oh, yeah. I thought I did. Ori Naturals.com. Ask her what herbs she would suggest. Oh, I just spelled it, sweetie. Do you see it there? Ori Natural. Good, good. Ori Naturals. Everybody that sees it, press the like button. So I know that you see it. Ori Naturals. Uh, uh, all in basketball, are you in college? See it. I see you. What do you mean you see what? Oh, you see. Oh, you see it. No, I was talking to IG. Everybody that sees Ori Naturals, press the like button so that I know that you that you're you're looking at it. Yeah, that's another conundrum with the ADH children. They're highly gifted children. They're highly gifted, and the system doesn't look at the gift. The system says there's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. And they will try to make your, your son special needs. So be mindful that the system will label your child. I gave my son medicine because um, I didn't know any better at the time. And it slowed him down like a drug addict. It was so sad. It's like, <laughs> he would be like, hi, Brian. And Brian would have to think what they said and process it inside his head. And he'd be like, hi. So they came up to me, this is when he was in acting, they came up to me and said, oh, we see Brian's acting a little different. And I said, yeah, I put him on ADHD medicine. And they're like, oh, okay, that makes sense because everybody in the business 
has ADHD. But when I saw what it was doing to my son, I stopped it. Cold turkey. I was like, I don't know how you're going to turn out, but you will not turn out like a zombie. And I didn't have enough information about herbs and stuff like that. So I want to encourage all of you. You know what? I'm going to change it now. I want to encourage all. I'm going to use the herb practice today since we're talking about chemicals and stuff that hurt us. I want to encourage all of you to invest in herbal education. All of you. There's, you can't not learn enough out there. Hi, Kiki Witch. You cannot not learn enough out there. Learn herbal medicine and the health benefits. Now, I don't know enough about ADHD, but there's enough information out there. My son is 33 years old. So this when he was nine and 10, and there wasn't enough people out there to help me. But I know I stopped it within three months. I know I wasn't that stupid that I was gonna let some doctor tell me how to take care of my son. Nope. Nope, you're all a bunch of crackheads if you think I'm that type of mom. Nope. Madre of Earth. I don't know how to pronounce this. Creosi Push? Creosi Push? I don't know how to pronounce it. Creosi Push? Let's see what it's good for. Real sea push? You know, I haven't eaten yet. My lunch, I mean. I haven't eaten my lunch yet. It's busy all morning. I was busy doing readings all morning. I haven't eaten my lunch yet. I start getting angry when I don't eat my lunch. And I really need to get weaned off of meat now. Oh, guess what I'm finding? Beef is not my best friend. So it's starting to happen. Every time I eat beef, it makes me feel like it's sitting right here. Beef doesn't like me in the Caribbean. Uh, Mother of Earth. What's everybody saying? Thank you, Misha. For your own personal reading, please like, subscribe, please share. By the way, um, Mother of Earth. By the way, T. Monique. All right. The Madre of Earth provides for herself and her community, like the Creole speech bush. She creates many remedies. She honors the land she gets the message. She's in good health and inspires others to do the same with her grounded daily routine. I'm always encouraging y'all to, to, to do what I have discovered, All right? She knows Creole am I pronouncing it right? Oh, did you? Oh, <laughs> we girls got to stick together, child. We have to stick together. We are all queens. We don't need the men to tell us that we're queens. Misha, you weren't on this morning. Oh, you said you watched it. Did you um, watch Bigger Than Africa? Bigger Than Africa on... Hi! Hello, sweetie. How are you? You know, um, oh, Kimia, I have to thank you. I have to thank you, Okimia. Okimia called me for a, a scenario, and 
because she called me for a scenario, I hooked her up with Ifa Shea, High Priestess Ifa Shea, who owns Ori Naturals. And because of the conversation that Okimia had with Ifa Shea, I asked if I could be a part of something bigger than me. And I wound up being in a class with Okimia. And the one class changed my life, Okimia. The one class. I can't even imagine getting a better education. So I just want to thank you. You will be surprised that your own clients are coming in to help you. I think I'm helping my clients. It doesn't work that way, everyone. When you're spiritual, you don't know how God's going to bring the information to you. Don't think I'm your teacher. You teach me. And because I'm open to always learn, when I did the reading, I was like, I hope I helped. But then I realized you helped me. So thank you. Changed my life. Getting the education. Now that was the introduction to and then there's a whole series of getting into the system, right? So this was just the introduction to. This was a snippet. Mm -hmm. um, back to the Creole, I don't know how to pronounce it right. She honors the land as she gathers medicine. She's in good health and inspires others to do the same. She knows Creole bush thrives in depleted soil where other plants cannot. She too is considered a survivor because of her ability to grow strong. As a true guardian of the place, she learns from Creos, the mother of all plants, how to enhance the lives of generations beyond her lifetime. This is interesting. She steadily supports her people as well as the animals and plants of the region. Embrace your quiet nature. It is the foundation of grace. Oh, wow. Crafting with Creosote? Creos Creosote? Hi, Marie. Empower future generations. Leave a medicine walk in your community. Protect wild places, making an offering. Share the medicine. Make Creole salve and give it away to everyone. This didn't help me. What is Creoles good for? This didn't help me. They sell it on Amazon. Medicine uses. Anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory. Listen to this. That can be used to treat rheumatoidism. Guys. Who's got rheumatoid issues? This plant treats rheumatoid and general aches and pains. Who's got arthritis and rheumatoid issues? They say in particular rheumatoid, but it's also an anti-inflammatory. Now I sent something in the group, Marie and uh, Cola about anti-inflammatory. Did you? Did you guys look at the, the link that I sent? Because now we have to add this. 
Creole bush is for rheumatoidism. Am I pronouncing it right? Rheumatoid arthritis. Am I pronouncing it right? Listen. You know what we do in this community? Yep, I saw it. You did see it. Now we can add this. You know what we do in this community? This community, this YouTube community. We help each other. We support each other. And we grow with spiritual crystals and herbs. That's what we do in this community. So... This is beautiful. Who's got rheumatoid arthritis? Whose grandmother has it? Get mama some tea. Okay, get mama some tea. All right. And then I was listening to this guy. Hold on a second. He said, he said, nettle, butter burr, Three best herbs to heal and prevent arthritis. Pay attention, write these down, now these to your lips. If you suffer from arthritis, you also suffer from too much inflammation. We got to get rid of the inflammation. First is going to be devil's claw. Devil's claw. have shown that extracts from this plant can block several pathways which cause inflammation in the body. Second is cat's claw. Cat's there claw. There are many scientific studies on this showing a reduction of pain and inflammation in clients with arthritis. And last is yucca extract. This reduces reactive oxygen species which cause inflammation. Comment the place. That was for arthritis? Oh, that was for inflammation? Species which cause inflammation. Comment the place emoji. This helps share and help a friend. All right. And now we now we know. Pre okay, I gotta get up out of here because my um my thing is about to crash. Listen, I care about you. I care about you. I care about myself. If I care about myself and I find something, I'm sharing it. Team Monique, everyone. Team Monique. I'm not kidding. And whatever problems I've had with Monique in the past, I'm going to speak my mind. She a Leo, I'm a Sagittarius. We're just going to speak our minds. It's not an argument. All right? But I'll be damned if a bunch of men take Monique down. And I'm going to sit back and say nothing. I got a platform, too. I'm going to say something. Team Monique. All right, guys. Call me for your own personal reading. 213-458-7408. Bye. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live.